Welcome, my name is Ricky, and today we're going to be playing Fallout 76. Specifically, we're going to be taking a look at the earliest bit of the Wild Appalachia content update, which went live last Wednesday, I think, but I'm just not getting around to playing it, mostly because I kind of wanted to wait for everyone else to do it first, so that way I could go in and not have to worry about 23 other people trying to do it at the same time as I am. So hopefully there won't be anybody else playing it, but you know what? There are 23 other people on the server, potentially. I haven't checked to see how many people are actually on the server, and who knows what's going to happen. So, uh, let me briefly explain Fallout 76. My fault, my, this, this character, Fallout 76. He is a melee slash punchy character. Right now we're punching. And this is his camp. This is his camp. There's a work, a power armor station here. Some purified water here, which I don't need to take. So I'm going to leave there. Cooking station. Over here we got my, um, uh, glue farm uh which currently can't be harvested because i just harvested it so up in here is my very rudimentary shack uh got all my various workbenches that you need um got my cool mothman bed there's my uh stash stuff um i'm currently level 86 and i got a bunch of weapons that are um some of which I'm carrying because if we come across someone, I'm going to sell like this uh, laser sniper rifle. I'm going to sell it. I only have 304 caps because I bought a bunch of plants. So in order to start this thing, I need to build this poster that's free in the Atom store for a little while to like beginning of April. And then I read it. Uh, Pymus, wild eviction party this Sunday. Pie house party rules. Break stuff, be wild, trash hard, trash all, chug, coma, puke, and rally. All are welcome. Formal attire is optional. No robots. P.S. Cops are not invited. Cops come equals every man for himself. Okay. So, now I get to go attend a fraternity party. So, this is basically, this is the uh, drinking update where you can brew your own beer and whatnot. I've never actually used alcohol frequently in this game, so I'm not really sure how this is going to go down. Uh, by the way, in case you're wondering, my camp is here. It's right next to the uh, observatory. What's it called? The Atlas Observatory, I think. Yeah, the Atlas Observatory. This is my camp. There's a chance my second character might also be over here. And um, it looks very similar to this. It's not exactly the same, but it looks very similar to this. Uh, so if you ever come by a camp that's up here and it looks like this or similar to this, you can feel free to take whatever you need. It's fine you know i i need to there we go okay so now we're gonna head over to morgantown no because i hit the wrong button ah rat rat yeah it's been so long since i have played uh fallout 76 in any significant manner that i have forgotten nope that I've forgotten that the game doesn't pause when you're on the map screen. Okay, so I do need to, I feel like I should tell you this. Uh, lately, my recording software has decided it wants to be overloaded constantly, according to the bottom of OBS Studio. And, um, bring it. And it's dropped frames in games it really shouldn't even be close to, like, worrying about dropping frames in. Like... Um, uh, like, uh, Star Tropics last week, it dropped some frames in a game that probably isn't even playing at 30 frames per second. So, I mean, I should, I should, I should, I should clarify what I mean by that. Dropping frames is, you know, it records everything at 60 frames per second, but it's dropping so many frames that something that is less than 30 frames per second, I'm actually noticing the frames being dropped. That is what I mean by it's dropping frames that it shouldn't be dropping. Um, no, punch. 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 I love punching. Also, duct tape. I don't really need the Rad X, but I'll sell it for money later. Because again, I need some cash. You know what? I think we're going to switch over to my Mutant Slayers All-Star Baseball Bat. Because I really love this thing. So right now, the, this this baseball bat, I got it last month, I think. 
Uh, it's 40% less damage while power attacking, 40% more power attack damage, and 30% damage to super mutants, which probably won't be that helpful here. I don't really know. Uh, however, I am going to pull off my Iron Fist perk here and put on... Expert Slugger. I don't know. I feel like I feel like hitting people with a baseball bat. And it does 40% more power attack damage, which is this. And I take less damage while I power attack. But you can't power attack in bats, so. Quest started. Wasted on Nuka Shine. Fire in the source of a dangerously potent beverage. Eviction notice. Eviction notice. Vault Tech University Office of the President. Blah, blah, blah. They're getting evicted three days before the bombs fell. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um... This was a pretty intense party. Hey, look, a guitar we're not going to play. And a painting I've never seen before. Anyway, so I tell you about the uh, the whole... Ah, ghouls. Just level three one, though. That's okay. Um, I tell you about the, uh, the frame dropping thing. Because there's a better than good chance this might get a little stuttery. And the thing is... Uh, um... It might not. It might never show up while I'm talking, and I might just cut it out. One of the things I really like about Fallout 76 is this thing at the bottom. Uh, that's like, search around for the thing you're looking for. It's not specifically telling you where to go. Um, that none of the other Fallout games have ever really done. So, I really like that. Okay, I found a terminal. And vintage Nuka Shine. So I'm thinking this is where I need to go. Yes, maybe. Okay. Welcome to the personal terminal of Theodore Party Animal Dwarfman. If you're reading this, it means you logged my personal terminal. Don't do that. Too bad. You're dead. Messages. Stuff that people sent me. Reminder to self. Read it eventually. Nuka Shine recommendation. Oops. Oops again if you even care. All right. So well, let's read Nuka Shine. Dead. Can we please nail down the plans for transferring Nuka Shine to Pi House for your party? Lewis won't speak another word to me until I schedule the date and he's the only one with the formula. By the way, that joke that the Pi Muse were circulating about him got back to us. Not funny. His Nuka Shine is going to make your eviction party the event of the year. So no more cheap jokes at his expense. Okay. Now it's telling me to drink a bottle of Nuka Shine. Okay. I, this may be the first time I've drink. No, I bet it's not the first time I've consumed alcohol because I, dr I think I drank some new, some regular moonshine. No, vintage Nuka Shine. Not vintage Nuka Shine. That's what it's called. There it is. All right. Okay. Oh wow! Everything got all. Experience the effects of Nuka Shine. Optional. Clear out the party crashers. You got it. What are the effects of Nuka Shine? Nine AP regen, plus 50, unarmed damage. Ooh, unarmed damage. Hang on. Without putting any other thing in it, where's my power fist? Those are the P. There it is. Whoa! Okay, we might be using this more frequently. Feels weird to use 300 damage on that thing. This is... Making this way powerful. What else does it do? Damage resistance, reduced sprint AP cost. I also have a uh, um, damage plus 7% and a disease I didn't realize I had. Eat veggies but not meat with no disease. And times two benefits. Okay. I didn't realize I had picked up a disease. Or not a disease, a uh, uh, mutation. I think I cleared out all the party crashes already. I mean, it's telling me to, li it's telling me to stick around in here. So, everything gets red right at the end, apparently. And now Vintage Nuka Shine has worn off and open. Oh, we're in the loading screen. Okay. Well, that wasn't great. Where are we? Sickle Man was here. Cool. I, what, don't, why are you taking that? Don't take that. You don't need to take that. At our alma mater stands a bay, gray and cold. The steps behind him are the first threshold. Around the right corner, study the street. Just to the left is a place that we meet. There you can stain your skin with ink, but find the back door and we'll get you a drink. 2076. Oh, solve the riddle. Okay, where am I? Okay. For some reason, my bender took me over to Vault 76. Uh, but now we're going to head over to vault Tech University. Okay, so... At our alma mater stands a boy, not bay, boy. Okay, I misread that earlier. Gray and cold, but it looked like it said bay, admittedly. It looked like it said bay. 
Okay, so obviously the statue here. The steps behind him are the first threshold. Around the right corner, study the street. Study the street. Uh, just to the left is a place... Is the place that we meet. There you can stain your skin with ink. But find the back door and we'll get you a drink. Big Al's Tattoo Parlor. Perfect. Obviously this was added for the quest. But find the back door. Oh look! I found the back door. Nuka Shine. Hmm. You guys are not very good. Oh hey look! There's a party poster you could have read here. They're all over the place. You don't have to get them in the, in the, the, the Adam sh shop. Search for information about Nuka Shine. Also, desk fan. And a lunch pail with bubble gum. Let's see what else I get. Come on, something good. No, okay. But two battered clipboards. Bethesda, you spoil me. Ah, okay. Ah! <laughs> I was missing something, and it was the secret door. Whoa. Well, this place is fancy. Oh, RoboBrain. That was the guy I heard. You. I want to talk to you. Cool. Yeah, I do want a drink. You. I do have more than just the one. I have two. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. Up, oh, there's another player coming in here. Just FYI. Uh, but I have the microphone and all that turned off, so. As of now, restriction the access room is should lose and I only nuke shine continues to be a collaborative effort, blah blah blah. Okay. Now I need to find the supply room password. Hello. Other hello. There are two people currently doing this. So I don't know if those guys were ahead of me or behind me. Um I don't know why I'm going up there. So now Oh, I also need to read the Nuka Shine inventory list. So I need five corn, five razor grain, five wood, two boiled water, one Nuka Cola Quantum. I, I, I think I have some of that, but I don't have the razor grain or the corn. Oop, wait, something's getting up. The server's acting up. Fine, whatever. It might catch up eventually. There we go. Yeah, the servers are um, the worst part of this game, by far. I mean, there's no, there's no getting around it. They are at times awful and at times fine and never good. On the plus side, you can punch. People in the face, which is really fun. Whoa! That one was glowing? I don't know if it was supposed to be glowing, but it was clearly glowing red. Still, here we are at... Ah, okay. Hello, Protectron. I'm gonna talk to you. Okay. 
We need to talk. Let's see what this says. Lewis, we need to talk. You're the smartest person I know. The Nuka Shine Project would be nowhere without you. I know that. When you told us you needed a little extra space to think, we gave that to you. No questions asked. It's just, we thought you needed space to think, not space to develop your hobby. Well, hobby is generous. It's more of an obsession at this point. Listen, every genius is entitled to their idiosyncrasies, but we could really use this space for pledges. I wish we could talk in person, but nobody knows how to find you these days. Please get in touch. I miss the old Lewis. The not crazy Lewis. Whoa! I want that. Hello. They were right behind me. They're right behind me. Judy's terminal. Uh, Nuke Shine Initiative. Fly room. Here we go. Got it. All right. Bye. Okay, there's a chance these guys are going to... Nope, they're still dead. Never mind. Okay, good. That guy's not. Go over here. I'm going to punch you in the face. With my power fist. All right. Now, enter. The password was shine? Really? Really? Okay, so now I have everything I need. That guy's working on it right now. All right. So let's go get all of this stuff, which may involve fast traveling, which is not great news. For me. Okay, so right now it's telling me to go over here to harvest the corn, razor grain, and gather the ingredients for Nuka Shine. With any luck, these um, brewing things will be connected to my camp like all the other workshops are. And if that is the case, then all the other stuff I definitely have. So, like I know I have Nuka Cola Quantum on me. And, uh,. Okay. Back up, back up, back up. Razor grain. Four razor grain. And there we go. Got all the razor grain. Now I just need one more corn. See, now, this is the kind of time where I kind of miss Fallout 4, because all I would do is open up the console and just add in the corn. You know, if, if this was like the 80th time I'd done this quest, at least. There we go. But there's got to be more. There we go. All right. It looks like it's going to be connected to my camp because everything else I have either on me or at my camp. In my camp. Brewing station. Beers, spirits. And I want to... Brewing station. Uh, yeah, I want to craft... I assume this is what I'm gonna craft. Fermentable Nuka Shine. Yeah, I don't see it. I don't see Nuka Shine anywhere else, so okay. Make. Exit station. Optional, find a way to speed up the process. Ooh! Upright base! I can't play an upright base in real life. Actually, I probably could, in the sense that, I mean, I can play a regular, I can play a regular electric bass. And while they are very different, I imagine I could figure it out. My character is an amazing musician and pastor, in case anyone's wondering. He's also a pastor. I feel well-tuned. Sweet. This is supposed to help speed it up, I think. But I don't know. Alright, let's see how well he is on the piano. How good he is on the piano. I'm knocking off stuff. Pretty good on the piano. And the snare drum. Um, the movement he's making isn't matching up to what I'm hearing in my ears. Hang on, warning. 
Uh, warning, experimental equipment in Nuka Shine is selling us so quickly losing a flash from enter to get it to HFS. It's not ready yet, so for your own safety, please do not touch unless you are Lewis. I'm serious about the warning. I nearly lost an eye and it wasn't even operating yet. Judy. Oops! You do. Sure. I do like the fact that they drew a uh, tuxedo on him. How many caps did I get? Also, I completed a whole bunch of challenges. 150 caps! Sweet! Okay, so we've come back to my camp to build the brewing station and fermenter. Um, I may have to add on an extension to my house, but I'm going to try and fit these in where I can. Um... I'm going to move the stash to over here so I don't clog the entrance. Uh, and then we'll put... Actually, we'll move the chemistry station to here. And then we will put the... Get it in the right spot. There we go. We'll put the fermenting thingy right there. Oh, interesting. I'm the only person who can access that fermenter. Cool. So anyone can access the brewing station... Weapons workbench. Any, anybody can access any of the rest of this stuff. Use any of the rest of this stuff. But apparently I'm the only one who can use the fermenter. Which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't think I can make anything right now though. Let's see. We can make fermentable beer. All I need is some razor grain. Which I don't have growing here. Uh, so bourbon, nuka shine. Rum. Vodka and whiskey. So I can make all the beers and alcohol beverages I never drink, and wine. Okay, so I have Nuka Shine. So, decreases sprint AP cost and increases AP region, 50%. Warning, may cause blackouts. Ages into vintage Nuka, Nuka Shine. Okay. So, because I drank vintage Nuka Shine. And that, I think, is what gave me the bonus to um, my unarmed. So, I may... Just let it sit in my inventory and see what happens. So that was Wasted on Nuka Shine, the first part of the Wild Appalachia expansion. The next part is an event coming up later this week, and we'll probably be playing that on this channel. Maybe with my other character, maybe with this character. Also, at some point, I am going to finish the video I've been working on for like a month now of all the good parts of Fallout 76. This has been Fallout 76. Thank you for watching. Come back soon for more Fallout 76.